So, Mr. Professor, could you give us a brief introduction about yourself? Okay, my name is Fabio Esposito. I am a medical doctor. I'm a professor at University of Milan. I'm the uh, dean of the School of Exercise Science at University of Milan. I'm 56 years old. I do research in the field of human and exercise physiology and actually we are working on projects uh, uh, dealing with hot springs and the benefits of a combination of hot spring therapy and physical exercise. I see. So this time we attend this symposium, right? And what uh, what are the things you already bring to this uh, this conference? The topic of my talk will be about uh, uh, the cardiovascular and uh, pulmonary uh, effects of hot springs uh, therapy. So the mechanisms behind hot springs beneficial effects on the human body and how we can improve these effects with physical exercise. So I'm very happy to be here and to cooperate with Chong Qing uh, on this project. Sounds very nice. And also, do you think like there do enough people around the world, right, already know the benefits of hot spring yet? Not really. Uh, I think that uh, we should do like uh, here in Chongqing, uh, you uh, are doing a, a big effort in spreading the voice between people because uh, people really do, um, doesn't know. Uh, in detail is the real benefits of hot springs. So I think that uh, we should learn a lot from this experience in Chongqing. I see. So uh, do, what, can I ask some about your personal experience with Chongqing's hot springs, like from based on your expertise and how will you comment on Chongqing's hot springs? Well, last year uh, I was here for the first edition of the meeting and I had a chance to have a tour uh, around the hot springs and I saw that here is uh, amazingly uh, devoted to this kind of activity and in my opinion uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, facilities uh, here in Chongqing with hot springs and um, it's a real uh, interesting uh, job you are doing because it's uh, something very healthy and beneficial for the people. Yeah. So, uh, how do you see the difference, like between the hot springs in Chongqing here or in like in China, this type, uh, between this one and the ones back to your home country? And do you think like there are some experiences that we can draw from each other in this industry? I think that the main difference is uh, you can combine hot springs experience with other therapies, for example, medical therapy, physiotherapy, or uh, other kinds of therapies. Um, I have experience, for example, back in Italy, and uh, with the hot springs, uh, often you can find also medical doctors uh, that can take care of your health and give uh, directions. Maybe this uh, aspect could be improved a little bit and I can tell a little difference between the two situations. I see. So what you mean is like actually back to your country like home, home that there are more like medical like this involvement in, in this whole spring thing, right? Yes, they are more medical oriented. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what do you think like the benefits or something, advantages like the hot springs here that maybe your country's hot spring industry can draw from? We need to discuss this, but I think that our experience uh, uh, could help the experience in Chongqing by combining science uh, and more physiological aspect aspects uh, with uh, hot spring uh, activity. This is something that uh, really needs to be uh, understood and proposed to people because hot springs uh, make a big impact on the body activity and this uh, experience should be driven and controlled, supervised by a medical doctor. So uh, this could be a, 
um, a way to collaborate with uh, experience in charging. I see. So have you involved in some kind of these projects with Chongqing already? Uh, we uh, started with FEMTEC, which is the uh, World Federation of Thermal Therapy and Climate Therapy, uh, with Professor Umberto Solimene. Uh, we started an office here in Chongqing. Professor Solimene is uh, working hard on this collaboration with the city of Chongqing and Mr. Liu Qi about this uh, uh, possibility to work here together. So I'm with the Professor Solimene and we also start the activity of the office soon uh, on this subject. Nice. So the last question is like, how do you see the future about of like the Chongqing's uh, hot spring development? I uh, really hope that this experience could be spread in the world and many people could come to Chongqing because uh, the hot spring uh, reality in Chongqing is known around the world but uh, is, um, not many tourists uh, come to Chongqing because of the hot springs so we really see a potential for Chongqing to develop uh, the industry of hot spring by increasing also tourism based on hot spring experience. Thank you very much. You're really welcome. Professor. Yeah, that's all for the okay. interview.